Hey everyone, welcome to Astro Scoop. This is Jeff, the astrology coaching channel that does a deep dive into the planets and signs of the zodiac. Today's video, another follow up to Taurus. For the week ending May 3rd and 4th, 2024, we are now coming into the second decan of Taurus. If you're a Taurus and your birthday is in the coming week, from May 3rd right around to the 10th or so, you're in the Taurus 2 decan. You're ruled by Venus and your sub-ruler is Mercury. Taurus people born in the second decanate take the firm plans and strong will of early Taurus and take it further by educating people. So Taurus people born in this decanate have a Virgo flavor. They could be very good with details and even have technical ability. A Taurus people born this week might be a little more clever or witty due to being born under the Mercury decanate. Your planet is Venus, your jewel is emerald, your number is six, Taurus rules the thyroid and neck, Taurus's color is basically blue, sometimes green, your metal is copper, your flower is the hawthorn, and your herb is lovage. In Greek times on the island of Crete, the symbol of Taurus, the bull, was very respected and revered and was considered a sacred beast. And in that constellation, there's a star named Alderbaran, which shines like a ruby. So Taurus people in general, we know that Taurus people can be very charming and very sensual and earthy and very attractive. What I love about Taurus people that are feeling natural and secure is that Taurus people have a natural attractiveness and a natural serenity and calmness that makes people feel at ease. That's the best thing about a positive evolved Taurus is that you can support people and make others feel very calm in your presence. In Egyptian times, the bull was considered an animal of prophecy, was used to some extent to predict future events. So I don't necessarily see Taurus as a visionary sign or a sign that looks too forward in the future using those faculties, but Taurus people, you do have the ability if you tune into it. So Taurus people born in this second decan have the colossal power of early Taurus mixed with those clever qualities of Virgo and more mental qualities. But there's also an unmistakable sensuality with these people as well. The misfire for Taurus people here is a critical nature. So we know that Taurus is a very strong-willed sign and has very firm and concrete and defined ways of thinking, which are great in some ways for business and plans. But when that critical nature comes out with Taurus, it can misfire. This can also block Taurus forming alliances and working as a team player and working in harmony with others and this is odd because at the heart of Taurus people born this week, they really do want harmony and quiet. If you are a Taurus person born this week or you know someone who is, you have to get your natal chart done. I can do that for you. And you look to Venus, but you should also look to Mercury, which is your planet of communication and thinking. That will give you a strong indication of how you use your Taurus energy. Thank you so much for stopping by. I truly appreciate all the views from other countries lately. Thank you so much for helping this little channel to grow. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Live streams are 7 p.m. Fridays on YouTube at Astroscoop3801. Please tune in. Until the next time, stay safe and be yourself.